my name is Kara Motzinger and I'm here to tell you a little bit about um, the programs we have that are happening at the Jefferson County Public Library. In spring we have several things that are coming up in the month of March. We have St. Patrick's Day Crafts that's going to happen on March 16th at 6 o'clock at the main library downtown. All kinds of fun craft activities for um, kids but older older kids as well, um, all ages. Um, we're going to do a special program of computer coding for kids. That will be the next day on March 17th on St. Patrick's Day at 6 o'clock in the evening at the main library and that's for all ages um, starting at age 8 up through 17 and it's going to be a really cool coding program that will be kind of for fun um, for kids who haven't done any coding before but they'd like to kind of try some coding. And that will um, use our library computers, so we'd like people to sign up for that. If you'd like to come to um, the library for that program, um, any of the programs we have at the library, we'll tell you um, in a moment how to sign up for those. During spring break, we're going to have a library scavenger hunt, and we're really excited about this. It will be drop-in anytime on March 27th from 10 a.m. until 5 o'clock p.m. at the main library. And during the library scavenger hunt, you'll run around the library, not running, but um, going around to find clues that are actually puzzle pieces and once you find 15 puzzle pieces you'll put those pieces together and when your puzzle is completed you show it to us at the desk and we will give you a prize. So that'll be a really fun all ages event on Friday um, March 27th and you don't have to sign up you can just come by the library anytime between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. And we're going to show the movie, <laughs> Frozen 2. We're really excited about that. Um, if you didn't get a chance to see it on the big screen or you'd like to see it on a big screen again, we're going to show it at the library on the wall of our auditorium. And that will be on March 28th, which is, um, I believe it's a Saturday, and we're also going to have a craft. And that'll happen at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so it'll be a really fun frozen themed craft that's um, really fun to do. And you'll get to enjoy that movie on the big screen again. Um, we also have a really, really cool thing that's coming to the library. And it's a virtual reality. So we are going to get um, a VR headset. And that is on loan to us from the Indiana State Library. And they're showing us how to use it. It has lots of really cool games um, and activities, um, programs for um, doing all kinds of fun things in virtual reality. So what you do is you sign up for a 10 minute time slot. Um, we have several different days and times uh, planned. Um, those are going to happen during spring break, but they'll also go into the very beginning of April. And it's really fun for all ages, but mostly um, if kids are maybe five or six years old and older, um, we're going to have um, some virtual reality programs at the library. March 24th and March 31st from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, and you can go into our library um, website and sign up for one of those time slots um, and on March 26th we're going to have another one of those at the Hanover branch from 2 until 4 and so um, now's a good time to tell you about how to sign up for programs at the library so a lot of programs you do not have to sign up for like movies um, but when we have crafts and story times, we really like it if you can register ahead of time. Um, that's always free for library programs. We don't charge for programs that we have at the library. Um, every once in a while, you might have to bring your own supplies to a program. But if you'd like to see all of the fun events that are coming up at the library any given month, you can go to www.mjcpl.org. And if you click on events, which is on the top left hand part of your screen, it will give you a calendar and you can click on any one of those events and it'll give you a description and instructions on how to register for any of the programs that you need to register for. It will also give you reminders um, if you want a reminder on, hey, I signed up for that program. We all have very busy lives. So it's really, really cool to have a reminder the day before a program. Oh, yeah, that's right. We signed up for um, some fun activity at the library. Now you're going to remember um, or you can call us to cancel if you cannot come. Um, the library phone number for the main library is 812 265 2744. The Hanover branch, which is in Hanover, um, 
right off of 56. The phone number is 812-866-1470. And we have a lot of ongoing um, programs that happen at both libraries. And those um, that are happening in the children's department, we have a Young Writers Workshop, which um, is, we have a wonderful um, person who comes in and teaches that, and that's Dominique Battles from the Hanover College. It's for kids that are in grades fourth through sixth grade, and if they'd like to work on their writing skills, creative writing, she's wonderful. She works with them. They do a lot of um, creative writing activities, and for kids who are working on a book and they can get um, chapters or certain parts completed, Sometimes we add those to the library collection. So it's a wonderful program. It happens on Tuesdays at 4 o'clock at the main library. And we have story times. Story times are wonderful. We have a mother goose on the loose, which is great for babies and toddlers. And that happens Tuesday mornings at 10 o'clock at the main library. Um, and then we also have all ages story time. All ages story time is again for all ages. So um, babies, toddlers, preschoolers, um, homeschool of all ages, anyone can come to story time um, on Wednesdays at the Hanover branch. I hesitate because we were doing our all ages story time on Thursdays and we have since changed it to Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock at Hanover. Every month we try to do a STEM Saturday. STEM Saturday is awesome because you get to do a lot of different fun building activities. So we try to do things um, a little bit different every month and we have some things that we put out all the time. We always put out Legos, marble mazes, um, things like that. But then there's usually a maker table, maker table, like a maker space, where you can make a fun activity to take home with you. So um, it's kind of a crafting station, um, and that will happen in March, on March 14th at 10 o'clock at the main library. So if you're interested in finding out more about what's happening at the library, please visit us at www.mjcpl.org. Another program I'd like to tell you about is the Park Hop. The Park Hop is in its second year. Um, last year, the Several different organizations got together, including um, Matt, the City of Madison, um, Heritage, Oak Heritage Conservancy, that's in Hanover, um, King's Daughters Health, Healthy Communities of Jefferson County, Purdue Extension, um, the Heritage Trail Conservancy, the Library, and um, Hanover College. And so a lot of different organizations working to make the Park Hop happen. What is the Park Hop? The Park Hop is this amazing thing you can do during the whole month of March where if you visit some of the different parks throughout Jefferson County um, and answer a couple of clues, um, there are a lot of parks throughout the whole county. You don't have to visit all of them. If you'd like to even just visit between one and five parks, there are um, prizes for any of the parks you visit that you do answer clues for. Um, the clues are really fun. This year we have added addresses for all of the parks. Um, I know a lot of families had fun doing this last year. You have a whole month to do it. Um, so again, even if you can only make it to the ones that are near you, that's okay. Um, but we're encouraging everyone in the county to get out, get moving, um, enjoy the outdoors. <laughs> I know sometimes it's cold outside, but we have so many amazing parks. Um, so if you don't know um, where some of the parks are, they're very spread out. They're all over. There's some down along the river. There are some on the hilltop. There are, um, there are lots of different parks. And so this is another way to find where those parks are and kind of expose your kids to the different nature and different areas that we have around Jefferson County. So the Park Hop is happening now all the way through the end of March. And then the celebration will be on April 4th at Heritage Park, which is really close to the head of uh, Heritage Trail. And that has a fire ring and that'll be a really fun celebration. It'll be from 1 to 2 in the afternoon. So if you um, do the park hop, it's wonderful. There's different prizes you can get for attending and uh, answering the, the clues about visiting some of the parks. Um, and even if, again, even if you visit just one or a couple, you can get prizes. So the prizes will be things like books. Um, I think they're going to do a drawing for a pass to, um, to Clifty, um, to the park, so to get an annual park pass. 
So there's some wonderful prizes you can get from doing the park hop and it doesn't cost a lot of money. So we hope that um, you get out and do the park hop this year. If you'd like more information, you can go to um, oakheritageconservancy.org slash find park slash park dash hop slash. So um, even if you just go to the oakheritageconservancy.org, I'm sure you'll be able to find the park hop. And um, you can even download the flyers. Um, most of the kids will get these from school if they're in preschool through grade four. Um, and if they don't, or if you're homeschooled, you can always pick them up at the library. Um, I think um, some other locations are gonna have them available too. So please get out there and do the park hop. <laughs>